Alrighty, folks. Well, let's get this show on the road. I'm going to pop over here so you folks can see our smiling faces this morning. Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to Adobe Live. My name is Voodoo Val, and I am joined here by my good friend, Cody Bear. How are you this morning, Cody? I am doing fantastic, Val. How are you doing? I'm doing excited. And I don't know who that's... You're doing the excited. I'm doing the exciting (laughs) feel. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm really pumped about today's um, uh, prompt. Uh, For those of you who have never joined us for one of these shows, um, basically the Drawing a Blank show is where Cody and I have a little prompt prepared for you that has some sections of said prompt that you folks can vote on, similar to what we've got going on below our little webcams here. Um, There are three line prompts where you folks can choose like an either or by voting in polls over on the YouTube channel. So if you are on YouTube, you are exactly where you need to be in order to participate in all of the voting. If you prefer to watch over on Behance, um, I suggest going over to YouTube and popping out the chat. Make make, make yourself a little uh, voting module um, as we go through the show and um, give us some feedback. Tell us what you are looking to add to the piece because Cody and I are going to be illustrating some pretty, uh, pretty nifty things as we move along um nifty is is a cool kid saying correct i'm pretty sure I'm indeed pre- okay indeed. okay all right cool mm-hmm. I, I just want to make sure i'm keeping it hip on the yep. adobe live stream uh, and now we're gonna pop over here and show you folks what we've got to work with so um our prompt for the day is an archaeologist's or biologist's adventure bag Um, who specializes in writing books or testing samples packed for a trip to the desert or the ocean. So we're going to get that that poll going in the chat this morning so you folks can choose between archaeology and biology, which are two pretty darn cool things, if I do say so myself. Basically... Um, are we doing are we doing cool live specimens of nature and animals, or are we doing cool old specimens of yeah, nature? Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, are they alive? Are we or Indiana were they Jones? Alive? Or exactly, exactly. Are we Indiana Jones? Or are we going full Sigourney Weaver in Avatar? Yeah, that's what we. Exactly. <laughs> that's what we want you to choose from. Um, and in the meantime, I think there's a lot of like overlapping little. Um, like moments that we could probably be sketching for either or Mm -hmm. um, as we kind of gear up for this. Uh, I've got like a little inventory kind of deal set up um, and I I really enjoyed, if you folks tuned in to some of our previous episodes, Cody and I did do a couple of, yeah, there we go, the adventurer's kit. That was so, so, so much fun. Um, and, uh, obviously we, we illustrated some great, um, like herbalists items, but we also had our handy dandy, our trusty wheel of cheese, um, because (laughs) we don't, we don't adventure without our wheel of cheese. I don't go to the grocery store, uh, without my wheel of cheese. Um, I have to, they have to overlap. I have to bring my cheese to re-up my cheese. have to have one. Yes. And then go get a new one. Exactly. Exactly. Um, so we've got three votes in for archaeologists coming through so nice. far. Um, the poll is up, so if you would like to vote and you're over on YouTube, check out that poll at the top of the chat. And if you are in the Behance chat, pop out the YouTube chat. Um, and it uh, looks like Jack Watson has got the link to the YouTube in the uh, Behance chat. Pop out that chat and give us a drop us a line. Let us know what you would prefer. Um, and I'm going to scroll through here too, um, just before I get started with my sketches and say hello to everybody because Tim, um, Tim Mobist is in the chat. It's so good to see you, Tim. Um, Robert Hi, Tim. Keys, welcome in. It's good to see you. Just got, um, back from off. Oh, awesome. Yes. The off, um, streams are going on right now. If you, if you missed those, definitely check them out because there's some pretty cool stuff going on this year. Um, I see Sean Coso. Uh, Jack Watson, of course, Oliver Andrews, welcome in. Aperva, Alejandro, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Um, who else do I see? Uh, uh, Diseñador Grafico, I hope I said that right. I think that is like the coolest name. <laughs> right? That's fancy. It, that sounds like a graphic design wizard that right? is absolutely wearing Grafico. a fleeky like, outfit. <laughs> yes, Grafico, Diseñador. 
<laughs> sounds awesome. That sounds so cool. Um, Emma, Emma is in the chat as well. It's good to see you, Emma. And then I also see Adventures from Canada over on the YouTube chat. Um, Oifi, I hope I said that right. Um, and uh, AAR Creativa, welcome in. It's good to see you. Um, all right, I'm gonna do some sketching. I'm gonna add like a little title to mine. Um, and I'm just, by title, I mean, I'm gonna scribble in here. So I remember to add text to the top of this <laughs> um, when we decide which we are going to be working on. Um, and I'm thinking like, I can add another bag. I was thinking about like making a new bag for this, uh, but then I was also thinking it might be cool just to like leave a couple of large spaces for things. And I'm mm -hmm. thinking rather you are an archeologist or a biologist, you're going to have like books for sure. Yeah. But we did do a book last time, but it would be interesting like maybe to do like, instead of a book, like a, like field notes. You know, like I could do like a... I did both. You did, I didn't have, you? I, I literally did a little field notes, like the brand field notes. I don't know if you guys have ever heard field notes brand, but you should look them up because they have really cute stuff. I don't think so. I have. What is the brand field notes? Is it just... That's where the term came from. It was from the brand. Oh. <laughs> well, I learned something today. I was today yeah. years old when I realized that was a thing. Um, I'm going to do like a little, um, you know, those like lined pads that are like the size and shape a of computer flip. paper yeah yeah mm -hmm. i'm gonna do one of those it's gonna be larger than like the flip pads though just because i want to be able to um kind of illustrate on the surface of it to like really give it more dimension and like put painted notes on it so i think I think that's what I'll go for for this. Um, there's my field notes. And then depending on rather we are um, going to the desert or the or the ocean, um, I will put like different colors on it kind of. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, and then I feel like we would also need, maybe instead of doing a bag this time, um, I will do like a trunk. You know? Oh, that's cool. That's a cool idea. Yeah. Yeah. Like a, a chest of sorts yeah. could be fairly interesting. I'm thinking I'm going to let this kind of overhang. I've got this like urge to make most of my items in this project, like stick out of the edges of my inventory boxes. Cause I just think that's oh, really cool. <laughs> that would be cute. I, I always love when stuff overhangs in a, like in a frame. Yeah. I think it adds a lot of character. And then you just like do like a nice, like quarter turn kind of, mm -hmm. and it can, it can become, um, I think really dynamic. I'm wondering, you know how like you, you, you want to draw something and you're like, do I know how to do this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm having that moment right now because I kind of, I think it would be really cool. Like if I were an archaeologist or a biologist, especially like in a fantasy realm, I would mm -hmm. want to have one of those boxes that like you open the trunk and then you pull out the other pieces that like go up and oh, then hang like on the side. Yeah, you yeah, know, like a toolbox almost. Exactly. Yeah. Like I would want to 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 have one of those for all of my samples. I just don't know. Like in an hour, can I actually affect that? I'm not sure. Right. But we can we can try. I might try to do that and add some items in here. I'm not sure if I believe in me, but we're going to try it. I believe in you, Val. Thank you. Chat, do you believe in Val? You better. <laughs> That's like such an <laughs> ominous question. <laughs> do you believe in Val <laughs> raises axe? <laughs> like, <laughs> you do, don't you? Um, let's see. Like a toolbox. Yes, Robert. Exactly. Um, I don't know. Like I've kind of, I honestly, I've kind of got the shape right now but i feel like i need more room we're gonna see i'm gonna like pull this down a little bit and like 
give it this kind of vibe. So we're at 50-50 right now. Are we really at 50-50? For 12 votes, yeah. Okay. We are going to need to close this poll pretty soon, folks. So um, if you have any ideas as far as whether you would like a um, biologist challenge or an archaeologist challenge, please head over to the YouTube and give us a vote. Oh, we just, we just, well, no, it's tied again. Now it's, now it's not tied. <laughs> let us know. Do you want biology or archaeology? We'll let you have another few moments as you make your way over there. And then we are going to close it because we got to get this show on the road. We have too many magical um, things to vote on before the end of this. Um, biologist is hanging, hanging on in the future. I just know that my announcement I just said is probably not going to reach the chat for another 30 seconds right. or less, you know, around there, the little buffer. So I'll get, I will give you another few moments. Oh, yep. They're rolling in. Uh oh. <laughs> Maybe I should have just taken biology because, okay. <laughs> archaeologist. Oh my goodness. Okay. Archaeologist is winning. I'm going to end the poll at archaeology because it keeps going. Maybe, 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 maybe not. So indecisive chat. Yeah. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to assume that means that the, um, the challenge uh, or prompt items are so cool. Um, yes. That it's they can't decide. Really split. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just a really good prompt. So we are going to be doing archaeology, and I am going to need to know now um, if our archaeologist specializes in writing books or testing samples. I also have a sneaking suspicion that I spelled the word writing wrong here, um, and I am too terrified to Google it. <laughs> I might have. Two T's, one T. Writing, it's one T. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. As as two people who love With to write stories. With two T's, it would be writing. Yeah, writing, <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is a writ of fantasy? I don't know why um, I, whenever we do this stream, I speak as if I am eight different people. <laughs> but I've noticed that I do that, and I hope that it doesn't annoy the crap out of everybody. But I've, like, gone back and read, like, look, skipped through the VODs. And if you skip through them at any given time, I'm a, I'm just a different funny little guy. And I don't funny know. Funny little guy, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know if I like that or not. Um, uh, okay, so we are voting now between writing books and testing samples. Um, so that should be, uh, that should be good. Also, if we're doing archaeology, I can start to kind of build out, like, I'm going to do like a little lump because that can be a fossil, you know, eventually. Mm -hmm. And I could mm -hmm. either be mm -hmm. like a little, one of them little swirls, like one of them Nautilus thing. Oh, I yeah. just accidentally made a fossil from Animal Crossing. Um, <laughs> oh, whoops. my nerd is showing my bad let me pack this away <laughs> um well if i add some other little crumbly rocks around it then it looks less like the animal crossing thing um but yeah i feel like i could do like some little some little chunks of stone and things that will start yeah. to give it the vibe um and then when we find out whether it's desert or uh ocean uh, we can add more, which I'm going to be like adding ocean themed stuff to the ocean one and desert stuff to the desert one. But if you're um, like intrigued by archaeology at all, you probably know that truthfully, they would probably be reversed. Yeah, because you would be finding like in, in deserts, they find all the time like shell fossils and stuff right and then in the ocean yeah. it's not always ocean creatures they find fossils of because the ocean right you know was changed so many years ago yeah um but we're gonna be very it's fantasy literal. yes <laughs> we're gonna be liter literal with this um david melendez you are so sweet and kind <laughs> I, I assume this came through when i was talking about the strange voices and he says voodoo vow the peculiarities are what enriches a person. And I could not agree Aww. more. That is so sweet. 
That makes me feel so much better. <laughs> General Kenobi, hello there. Good to see you. Um, and I hello, see General. El Alessandra also um, is in, in the house. Wade Acuff in the house. Welcome in. Um, Peter Bex, hello. Charles Bell, Omar, welcome into the chat. So many friends filtering in. Thank you, thank you. Um, all right, testing samples is 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 getting ahead, I think. Um, and I'm wondering now if I can also just add like some little sample vials to my my little pack here. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of burst out of my trunk. Could be interesting. I don't know if um, the play. last two weeks is the most I've ever drawn bat packs in my life or yeah. packs. I I never draw bags, so yeah. this is like a new <laughs> experiment situation for me. Yep. Uh, I don't think I've ever illustrated so many inventory items in such a short amount of time. Yeah. Too, because like we've been doing props. I like, like it. Crazy. It's fun. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I like I like the props. Let us know, folks, in chat if you are enjoying the. Um, yeah the prompts that are props because we've been having a good time with them and we want to do them more often. Um, and if you folks think that you are really enjoying these ones, um, then we will certainly make that happen. Or um, also if you have any other just ideas for prompts in general that you would like to see, yeah, send them our way. That's a, that's a great idea as well. Let us know. Send us a, shoot us a DM on Instagram. We have our, um, our links in the description of the video. Or, um, I think, I don't know, what's the best place to get a hold of you? I think Instagram would be best I for I guess me. Instagram. Yeah. Instagram, probably, yeah. Let us know, folks. Um, all right. I think we've got 16 votes in, um, and testing samples is pretty, pretty, it's winning by a long shot, I believe. Oh, so nice. I, I think it'll be testing samples. So I'll go ahead and end that poll. Um, thank you so much. So we are archaeologists that test samples. I feel like Sweet. I need to have like some more specific sample looking things now. Um, and then we will do the third one, which is packed for a trip to the desert or ocean. So now we're going to kind of get like a more solidified idea of our theme. Um, what is an archaeology sample like aside from fossils? I feel like um dirt cool. like dirt samples yeah um like not poor just earth. they don't just do fossils too like I mean you could also there's like pottery like any kind mm. of like artifact mm -hmm. um you know um, yeah um like just ancient artifacts like pieces of things um pottery is a great is pottery a great one. um like bricks or just like anything that you might find in a ruins you know yeah i think tomb, tomb raider urns. like like some some cool urns would be cool yeah i do um more than one urn in one of my little spots here spooky urn maybe that going I honestly should probably paint the urn or sketch the urn like right side up before I turn it catty corner because it is such um, such a uh, symmetrical thing at least in yeah. the beginning I think I should add like some cracks and stuff to it totally for sure. maybe a mask of some yeah. sort could be, mm -hmm. could be cool. Let's actually do a staff of some sort. Yeah. Could be interesting. Um, I do have some reference up just because I have like a, I've got a Pinterest board that has like video game item, like inventory items on mm -hmm. it that is like, proving to be like pretty interesting reference but i'm also trying to like elaborate on some of these cool things that i see um in a way that can still make them unique i'm gonna do like a tall jug Okay, 
finally finished my backpack. Oh my gosh, it took forever. But that's a great backpack. Oh, that's a <laughs> that's an excellent backpack, though. Thank you. Like I'm very impressed. <laughs> I'm kind of what I'm doing is I'm actually using the um, frame from the past one, and I'm putting mm -hmm. my backpack in the same place. So I'm kind of almost like making a series here. Oh, nice. Okay. So um, then, if you posted them all on Instagram, it would look like a set, kind of. They went together. Yeah. yeah. I hope this looks like a jug that you could pour stuff out of. Um, <laughs> it's kind of cool. As opposed to a jug that you don't pour stuff out of. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a decorative jug that you don't pour things out of, maybe. Um, and I'm kind of like, okay, looking at, like, what kind of designs could go on it. But I don't want to be too wild. But we'll do something like this. It has like a long pour spout. And we'll sit it there. And then I'm also thinking it would be interesting if I added a little cracked portion to it. So that it, you know, has some age to it. Yeah. Yeah, that looks awesome. I think we found it broken. We found it broken yet still aesthetically pleasing. Indeed. You know? Because that's that's the name of the archaeology game, is that everything <laughs> everything actually is not good anymore, but it's it's so bad that it's like moved itself into cool again. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we've got like an urn. I'm liking it. There's our little archaeology urn. Um, let's see. Archaeologists use a uh, trowel and some sort of brush. Michael Brown. Oh, I was Brilliant. just telling that. Yeah, or is that there? <laughs> That's what you're doing. Okay, perfect. I didn't even think of it. So, yes, we need tools for sure. Yes. Um, tools. Need... Tools. Um, okay, so a trowel. I think that's what you're doing. You got like a cool little trowel going. Yeah. Um, and I feel like I need also a trowel. I think I'm gonna make mine. Um, I did this series of illustrations. Spooky? Yeah, exactly. That's what I, I was working myself <laughs> up into like a long-winded, <laughs> a, a long-winded explanation of why I'm going, going to make this thing scary. Um, I'm so I'll just come out and say instead of the explanation, I'm gonna make it also a weapon. You know, because oh. like, yeah, because I, so I, I will explain. So I have a, I have a series going that I, I almost never return to unless I'm like so burnt out on other things that I just need to do something other than what I've been working on. Um, and it's this series um, uh, called Charm the Witch or the Charm series where like she has a little inventory going and she has like all of these cute little items and things that she carries around with her and one of the things that she has is a shovel blade um, that's amazing because, i love in, that in fact I'm, I'm gonna pull it up just because i think it's adorable um and charm's shovel blade is like um she uses it to dig up things um but she also you know if she has to fight big bad uglies um mm -hmm then she uses this guy so let me i'll show that yeah so this is charms shovel blade that i did and like all of the items in the series are like gold and like patina copper kind of Ooh. Um, so she's pretty cool and i started like <laughs> writing little flavor texts for the items <laughs> in her inventory um so this one says, why carry a blade and a shovel when you can have both at the same time? Digging a grave? Shovel blade. Grave robber ambush? <laughs> shovel blade. Mandrakes won't shut up? Shovel blade. <laughs> I love that. So I'll do, I'm going to do like a little, like a little um, sh shout out to Charm's shovel blade, honestly, because that would be kind of cute. I mean, what archaeologist doesn't need a shovel blade? We honestly? all, yeah, we all, if I was an archaeologist, I mean, mostly because I read too many books and watch too many movies, because if I'm going to yeah. go someplace where people are digging stuff up, I, part of me is making the assumption that something could come alive down there, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and it, it reminds me of, um, there's this video where 
somebody posted like a news story a while back about like an archaeological find where they found like this skeleton of this woman that was like unusually tall compared to the people of that region at the time and like the tomb she was in was like adorned in like gold text and the like the door of it had like these paper seals with um like an unknown language written on it and then when they opened it up and they found her she had like a gemstone in like it set into the eye socket and as this news report is being read there's this guy voicing over it that's like do not do do not uh break the seal on the tomb don't don't do that (laughs) and they're like and she has a gemstone embedded in her eye socket and he's like do not remove the gemstone (laughs) from the eye socket of the giant amazonian priestess (laughs) do not do it (laughs) this is a movie exactly (laughs) so like my that's where my brain goes when it comes to archaeology stuff and like yeah i'm bringing a weapon with me just in case things come back to life you can't Mm -hmm. stop me from (laughs) from doing that my wife has a shovel blade. It's a real thing for gardening. Yeah, you can get like those oh, yeah. little hand trowels with mm-hmm. like the you know the stopper at the end, so that you can really, um, you can really dig. So uh, there is definitely, um, uh, it's kind of a, it is kind of a real thing. I just need it to also be magic. Yeah. Um, okay, so we got a shovel blade. I don't know if that looks super good there, but we're gonna work on it. Your trowel is adorable, and I wish. <laughs> that I had thought of the trowel because it's perfect. <laughs> I can't take credit. I'm actually looking at like um, reference to like what archeologists put in their bag on Google. Honestly, so. that's perfect <laughs> reference. And I should maybe have that up as well, to be perfectly <laughs> honest. I'm just like, hmm, let me make it up. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I like what I just made. I might have to, I might have to reevaluate how I present these. Maybe they need to be lined up. I'm, I'm still trying to do like the the catty corner vibe and it just might not work for this or maybe I just need to do them straight across like that. Do like a bristly brush. This kind of looks like a paintbrush, honestly, but. Yeah, I just drew like a paintbrush. Yeah. Basically. I think maybe it's all probably pretty similar. Yeah. You know? I'm sure there's a lot of overlap with art and archaeology as far as tools. Um, Indiana Jones is kind of is the manual to fantasy archaeology. Seriously. Seriously. Indiana Jones, The Mummy, um, uh, definitely stuff like that is like... um, kind of the the blueprint right for um for that vibe um and i feel like so many of us who are adults now grew up with um a lot of those elements in media because it was like really mm-hmm. hot for a while it was you know? yeah tomb raider oh yeah oh yeah tomb raider was a big one um so now we're just kind of like uh do we really need to keep digging stuff up when it could come back to life do we really need to <laughs> do we need to restart the curse that someone already broke 4000 years ago? Do we have to? Do we <laughs> Is that a requirement? Um all right, so we are still 50/50 for <laughs> people keep voting and desert and ocean keep Oh my gosh, keep seriously? Doing it. So I'm going to give you guys um, another minute. How are we doing on time? Oh, we're just only halfway through the show. We're fine. Um, but yeah, I'll in 10 you minutes, you're going to be like, oh, the stream's over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> as soon, honestly, as soon as I start to say, hey, we've got tons of time That's left. so much time. Yeah. What are you talking about? Then it's like, actually, um, the, 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 the streaming goblins hear me and they're like, siphon! <laughs> <laughs> siphon time! I am gonna shape it a little bit more like a trowel so that it's obvious what this is instead of, um, but it's like, like yours is like got that really attractive like curve to it, but I think I'm just gonna do mine straight kind of, um, that's 
That looks good. Pool has ended. Ocean has... one, surprisingly. Ooh, ocean. Okay. Ocean. So I'm going to leave that there, and then we're going to do something. I'm going to add another thing. Because I feel like this can still be ocean, like my, my vase. Mm -hmm. My non-pourable jug. The um, jug. If I put, like, some ocean-type things on it. Like, maybe this is from Atlantis. We yes. still need to find that. That is one. Let me tell we, you. We still need to do that. <laughs> that is one that we I need to get like, on that. <laughs> don't break the curses. Don't touch the old stuff, guys. Stop touching yeah. the old things with magical properties. Don't do it unless you can prove to me that you're on the trail to Atlantis. At which point, <laughs> awaken every curse. You know, find it all. Touch all of the things. Break into all of the tombs. Do it because I do. I do have like a childlike urge to to find Atlantis. <laughs> I believe that it's real. I believe that mermaids are there and waiting for us. And at this point, since it's taking us so long, I think they think we're pretty stupid. It's like <laughs> it's been the same planet this whole time. You guys just can't find it. You have Netflix now, but you haven't made anything to find us? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Found in a shipwreck. Yeah, we need a map from a shipwreck buried in the bottom of Mariana's Trench to lead us with a sacred crystal to the entrance of a portal or Stargate apparatus that will bring us to Atlantis. That's how I imagine <laughs> it goes down. Probably. Um... We've got people talking about opening portals in the chat. This is the this is the kind of thing I like to inspire. I know we are mm -hmm. we're painting and Photoshop and stuff, but if we don't get through at least one of these streams without talking about opening portals and stuff, I don't know if we've done our job. Um, okay, we do have a fossil. I need. I love that you have these adorable little rocks framing your Thanks. piece. This is perfect, Cody. Oh no! <laughs> it's so cute! <laughs> Let's see. I think Jack will be the one to explore the ocean. That's. That's like a hefty assumption to make about somebody, you know? Right? Like, not like. I think Jack maybe likes donuts. I think Jack maybe enjoys <laughs> cake. I think that Jack is going to be the one to discover the most incredible find known to man. Uh, in this century. I Take think it as a compliment. Be, yeah, I think it's going to be Jack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this last little item, I think it's... I think it's going to be... It could be like another flat uh, fossil. It could be... Um, well, I could just say like I could I could look up like ocean fossil. Oh, it could be it could be um one of those armor guys. Oh, you know one mm -hmm. of those little. Oh, a trumpet. Yeah. A <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good idea. You whispered that like you are <laughs> so ready. Oh my god, I'm going to do oh. a triton. <laughs> I know <laughs> what I'm gonna do. A flashlight that I well Ooh. underwater. I mean, well, a camera, an underwater camera, like that. That cover. is important. I've already got my heart set on armored roly poly, little guy. <laughs> no, <it's> just... <laughs> I'll do a camera. Too late. I will, well, I'll I'll attempt to draw a camera. I'm not making any promises here. That's another. That was another um, worry of mine. That was a concern because you know what? <laughs> uh, that is a really great idea. Um, David, but also can I can I draw that? Because um, I draw wiggly little guys. I don't I don't do a lot of hard surface design unless that hard surface design is just a fancy square. So, yeah. so <laughs> if it's ocean, then diving gear. Also a good um, uh, idea, Michael Brown. That is a great idea. Donut wrapped in bacon, mummy. That's honestly, that would be an adorable Halloween treat and also probably pretty tasty. I approve of this. The golden donut. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going to to find on my archaeological or ar archaeological. Archaeological. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um okay, I am going to 
see if I can even make this happen. Um, I think honestly, the cool thing about this is all this stuff is number one made up number two mm -hmm. um stylized so if i don't want to draw um this thing 100 percent perfectly i can just play around yeah exactly and make most of it a funny haha -ha if i want um if i had more time i would be you know a lot more attentive to fact but the basic um, idea that I need to get across I think is just to make it look at first glance like it is the thing I'm trying to convey and I think yeah. that that right there looks like one of those what are they like isopods or whatever mm -hmm. I think that looks like an isopod fossil to me that's what that looks like um, and now that I have all of the stuff I almost wonder no I do want to keep the field notes I was wondering if I should um, of the field notes but I think I think it needs to stay because um, I was just thinking like what you know if I wanted to have something a little more interesting the flippers Cody <gasps> killing me adorable I also really love um, I, I think I, I spot an amulet is that what I spot? yeah perfect yeah. Um, and I also love the the seashell that you listen to I don't know what's <laughs> yeah. in the conch. end. The conch, yes. All hail the magic conch. The magic conch. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have something to eat? No. <laughs> I will <laughs> never forget that episode. I think it shaped my childhood. Seriously, um, that is like, that is iconic. That episode taught me how to deal with disappointment. Honestly, <laughs> it did. And I don't, if, hands in chat, hands emojis in chat if you know what I'm talking about. I'll try not to gush um, about Spongebob too much. I think we mentioned Spongebob once an episode. I don't know if that's... Yeah, I don't know how that happens. It just, it's just always living rent-free in our minds. Just yeah. all the time. It's kind of crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to think we might be the meme show on Adobe Live. <laughs> <laughs> it's entirely possible that none of this is serious. Whoops. <laughs> My bad. Um... Conscience? No, conch. Conch. Conscience um, con shell. Yeah, yeah, honestly. <laughs> I did it. Honestly, yeah. Really, when you think about the episode. TBH. Yeah. <laughs> the flashlight could just be one of those bioluminescent fish. Like like uh, a staff with like an angler fish on it. Honestly, that oh, sounds... Oh, that's hilarious. That sounds dope. That sounds like the, the weapon of an underwater necromancer. Yeah. To light the deep. That could be a pretty cool character design. Um, all right. I am very pleased with the lineup. And now I think it's time to finally make these scribbles actual words up here. We're going to call this. What are we going to call this? We're going to call this. Um, uh, Archaeology. Ocean edition? That seems lame. Um, I don't know. Archaeology. Chat! Chat! Uh, name. Name my. Name my project. thing. Yeah. Name the, name the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what to call this. Give Do me it. a cool title. I demand. Um, it, I wish. Is, is Clever Devlin in the chat? Because Clever, right? Clever could give us a snappy title like that, you know? Um, I'm going to go through my process of like making this not a sketch um, and that is I'm going to this time I'm going to lower the opacity on my sketch and I am just going to take my um, polygonal lasso tool maybe maybe actually the regular lasso tool because there's quite a lot of round well, well there's actually not a lot of round shapes in this um, and I am going to very super duper quickly i am going to start um blocking in all of the shapes and we probably mm -hmm. like i probably won't like paint in everything before we get to the end of our show but i certainly 
can get most of these things uh, blocked out at least, like pinned down. Mm -hmm. um, we are also going to find out. Um, this is the this is the moment in the artistic process when you truly find out if you can really draw or not because it's one thing to sketch and it's another thing to like start to like implement the designs and sometimes mm -hmm. i don't know about you cody but sometimes i get to the end of like trying to make my sketch a reality and i'm like none of this is anatomically yeah. or gravitationally sound <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what any of this was supposed to be but it's definitely incorrect this don't make no sense this don't make... <laughs> yeah that don't make no sense <laughs> It happens to all of us, honestly. So if you get, you know, if you, if you folks at home, you go to like, you know, finish your project and you realize I really like my sketch more than I like my finished project all yeah. the time. It's a sentiment that I am also very, very familiar with and you should not be ashamed. Let's go ahead and put that there. Let's put a little rocky rock right here. And then a little rock. We're actually not going to do that one on the bottom because it's a little close to the edge of my vase. Vase. Oh, vase. <laughs> oh, Reginald, I love this vase. <laughs> Reginald was... would be on an archaeological oh, yeah. uh, adventure, you know. Oh, Reginald yeah. Fairfield. In, mm, uh, Reginald geez. Fairfield in his long tube <laughs> socks and... Not yes. enough sunscreen with his, his little white adventure cap. cap. Yeah, <laughs> you're you're <laughs> right here with me on this, oh, and he's got little spectacles like the guy yes. from um, what's that movie I love about Atlantis? Is it just called Atlantis? Atlantis, yeah. Yeah, that guy. It's that guy. That guy. It's that guy, but like really, really British, you know. <laughs> um, we not Smashing. only invent. <laughs> <laughs> we not only invent items here on the show, we also invent whole people. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I'm already starting to picture his backstory, his home life, his origin, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, it's very serious. He's real. Okay, I'm liking that. Let's, let's... I'm I'm getting into my my cronk era now. It's all coming mm -hmm. together. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's all coming together now. <laughs> the Cusco, the poison for Cusco. Cusco's poison. <laughs> I start. That's like I go into like major cronk stage. Mm -hmm. Like once I finally start realizing that my sketch can be real, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. I planned this all along. This, I... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I meant for this to become real ages ago this is how i knew it would uh kind of materialize by the end of things and i was fully confident all along which is a lie but you know <laughs> are you holding shift while you select with the lasso yes so a little tip for um the lasso tool in photoshop especially if you are um, used to using lasso in um, another program such as like adobe fresco um, I, in Fresco, when you use the lasso tool, you don't really have to do anything if you want to add more to your selection. Um, you just have to keep going and then you can switch it to subtracting or whatever. But when you use the lasso tool in, um, Photoshop, uh, I'm using the polygonal lasso tool currently, which, um, if you just right click to open all of the different selection tools over your lasso tool, you will find the polygonal lasso tool. So it is giving me hard edges that I'm tapping out rather than, um, the, uh, more free form, um, uh, selections that you will be used to with the standard lasso tool. And I am, every time I start a new selection here, I am holding shift to add to it. Otherwise, what would happen is it would just deselect what I just had selected and start a new, um, a new item altogether, which is not what I wanna do. I want mm -hmm. to um, make one, one single layer with a bunch of different, major shapes on it so that I can like just paint bucket in 
all of the different items that we have here. One more, big boy. Um, everything is proceeding as Val has foreseen. Sure. <laughs> yes, General Kenobi. Mm -hmm. Um, you, did you just use a mirroring feature? I did. I used the symmetry tool to create this, um, Triton. Oh. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever used the symmetry tool. I actually forget that it exists sometimes. I went to start drawing the, the Triton, um, without using it. I was like, what am I doing? I can use symmetry. Um, so if you have the rush um equipped equipped you're equipped. not playing a video game yes um you. <laughs> <laughs> um you can just uh there's like a little butterfly icon here on the top menu and you can just tr uh click that and there's like all this these different variations like you can do a mandela a spiral all different kinds of variations where it'll create a symmetry on either side of the line and i just did i used the vertical symmetry and it'll kind of bring up this little this little doodad for you, you can size it. Nice. Whatever size you want. And uh, so you draw on one side and it will mirror whatever you draw on the other side. And it's super useful for creating like things like like I just did, like the Triton where, where you want both sides to be exactly the same. It's a lot faster than like drawing, a lot faster and easier mm -hmm. than just like drawing one side and then copying and pasting and flipping it because then you can actually see it materialize immediately yeah and you know exactly what it will look like on both sides i love um, it so yeah don't forget about a uh, symmetry tool guys i probably could have used that when i was working on my uh my my vase oh yeah you know, mm -hmm. that might have been you know and then like alter it because you then you can you can draw something in symmetry like symmetrically and then you can turn it off and have like a full thing and half the time yes. that you can make a symmetrical if you want to so true you could just go in if you don't want it exactly symmetrical you could kind of just go in and edit it a little bit yeah um, yeah um i have just paint bucketed in all of my items and i've chosen a teal to go with my orange um mm. background and i'm loving it honestly yeah that looks awesome i should also probably check to see what time it is we have just under 10 minutes which is crazy to me <laughs> um that's why you would be at the 10 minute mark <laughs> yep you are so right you, cody foresaw that for sure um also i think some people were um maybe putting in some ideas for what i'm going to title this um oh. and i just caught newer saying final final ultimate like and i think i'm gonna name this like a, like a lazy photoshop file so I'm going to call this archaeology, um, we're going to call this archaeology, uh, final copy, copy, dot, PSD. That's what we're going to call this. Fantastic. Okay, there we go. That's <laughs> beautiful. Very on brand. Um, and I think, like, if I've got 10 minutes, I don't have a lot of time to, like, really chip away at, um, at these fully. So I'm going to select, I think, our little fossil in the center here. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the fossil. That's going to be our piece that we try to finish before we get out of here today. For sure. You have got so many items. Like I, I drew, I drew six things. You drew a collection. You had like, your detail, your items are like so much more detailed than mine though. Like I love your little box. Like Thanks. I want that for all of crafts and such, like to put all of my little things in. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. It's gonna it's gonna be a feat. Like I sketched it, but it's it's one of those things, I'll be honest, where I'm like, yeah, I could I could put the idea of this down, but like will I actually render this out and detail it right. so it still looks like the thing I want it to be? I think it I think it will if I like really focus on what I'm doing. But that'll probably be honestly like the last thing I work on. Mm-hmm. 
Um, okay, let's go ahead and I'm gonna draw a little fossil. A little fossil right there. It's like the more blue I add to this too, by the way, the more it like seriously reminds me of the Animal Crossing fossil. But honestly, oh, yeah. I'm not that mad. I'm not, I'm not mad. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, this is fine. Um, and I'm just, put, I put a couple other things on it. So there's like a little more variation than the usual thing. Um, and what I'm going to do is slowly start to detail this with a different brush. So I'm going to grab like... Um, Maybe this oil brush, maybe I'm gonna grab like a lighter color and I'm gonna start, I made, I made one layer. Let me turn this off and dissolve. Well, is it nice on dissolve? No, I don't want it on dissolve. Um, I made like um, a bunch of clipping masks so that like the, um, the layer that has all of the background shapes of all of my items is its own separate layer. And then the uh, white of the fossils that I've just added to it is clipped to that layer. So I can't go right. um, outside of it really. And so I can come in here and start like painting this up and like really jazzing it up um, and like pulling it into a 3D space without um, kind of ruining uh, the the shapes that I've put in here because I really do like the way I've shaped everything and I don't want to yeah you know mess it up so it allows me a lot of freedom so that's already like to me that looks like it pops out of the background really well and then um, because the the fossil is on its own clipping mask I can then lock the transparency on that so I can just paint within this and we'll grab mm -hmm. like a darker color and I will come in and start like carving this. In fact, I'm going to turn my sketch down a lot lower so I can really see this. And I'm going to start making this look really, really good. And give it some dimension. Do, do, do. And then I feel like I could come in on another layer, something darker, and start to like really carve it. Like here's like the ridges of this cool fossil guy. Mm -hmm. to look pretty fossily to me oh my gosh i love yours though the, like, it's a little guy it's a little guy. <laughs> it's a little guy on there i love him um all right we have like a minute and a half i realize we are coming up on it um so this is honestly i'm proud of us this yeah, is this, this is, is a fun. lot of great work um if you guys in the chat, if you like um, the inventory style prompts that we have been doing, please let us know. If you're watching this replay um, on YouTube, drop us a comment and, and, and let us know um, kind of what you would like to see in the future. If you are digging these, if you've got any ideas, uh, we will digging definitely- Digging archeology. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but let us know. This is the work that we have done for today um, for our archeology span um, sample testing, um, ocean adventuring archaeologist. Um, and I'm really liking how both of them came out. Um, we're cutting it pretty close here to the very end. So we do have uh, to, okay. yeah, we do have to say goodbye, but, um, you did a great job, Cody. This is great. Thank you. So did you. I love it. You filled all your boxes. I did. I filled all of the boxes. <laughs> um, all right, guys, thank you all so, so much for hanging out with us. Please stay tuned because we have more content coming up right after this. So don't go away. We've got a jam packed day full of awesome fun. Friday fun day, honestly. Um, we have to take off, but we will see you next time. Um, and uh, until then, happy designing, happy illustrating. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.